Hey guys, welcome to Anne's Math Club. My name is Nyakinyo Gadura, or you can call me Molimo Anne, and I'll be your teacher for this subject, mathematics. So we have a new series whereby we're going to be um, hosting um, KCSE past papers just to do revision with you guys, help you know the tricks and hacks, you know, so as to prepare for the um, examinations come, you know, next year after COVID-19. So I'm hoping you guys are going to benefit from this channel. Please, you know, leave a comment if you have a question, if you have any suggestion, guys, um, just write it below. So um, for today, we are actually going to begin with KCSC Paper 1 Mathematics um, 2019. So we're just going to um, be looking at, you know, from number one to number five, um, what you could have done, what you can do for this video. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's do this. So um, we have question one. Um, the question you've been given, um, the numerator 5.4 divided by 0 0.025 times 3.6. So you can just come here and write solution. And the first step that you need to know, guys, because you've been asked not to use a calculator or a math table, um, what you need to know is that first you should multiply with the number of the most decimals. Decimals. So in order for, let me take you guys step by step. We are going to begin with the numerator. We have 5.4, which is to one decimal less denominator we have 0 0.025 and this is to one two three three decimal places and we also have 3.6 which is to one decimal place so we can see in the numerator we only have one decimal place but in the denominator we're going to be having three plus one that is four decimal places in the denominator so what you need to do now, like I said, multiply with the number of the most decimals. Since the denominator has the most decimals, four decimal places, we are going to multiply that now with 10,000. So what you need, you come back to the question, 5.4, you multiply the numerator by 10,000 and the denominator 0 0.025 times 3.6 multiply this as well with 10,000. So once you have this, you can now cancel um, 5.4, one decimal place. You can remove this decimal place by canceling with one um, zero. And then for the denominator, this is one, two, three. You cancel one, two, three, and one, it goes. So for the numerator, you're left with 54 times 1,000. And the denominator, you're left with now 25 times 36. 25 times 36. So I'm hoping you've understood. The first step when given such a question, you first remove the number of the decimal places. So um, now next, you cancel out. Once you have um, numbers, you can now use your you know, multiplication knowledge to cancel out. So here we see... Um, 25 goes to 5, 5 times, um, 1,000 goes to 5, that's 200. We see by 5, 1, by 5, 40. Then um, we know 54 goes to, um, 54 goes, we have 36 by 3 is 12, and 54 by 3, this becomes 18. We have now, we are left with that, so 12 by 3, gives us 4, 18 by 3 gives us 6. Then, you know, by 4, 1, by 4, 10. Then you're left with the numerator of 6 times 10. Denominator is 1. So 6 times 10 becomes 60. And this becomes your answer. So basically, I think the trick in this question, just to learn about the decimal places, make sure you don't confuse. Like I said, just use a simple, um, just do it like you know one two three this is three decimal places you see and such and now once you have that you know multiply with the number of the most decimal places
places you can see it's for the most it's four decimal places that is where we used 10,000 then you can multiply in the numerator and denominator and then once you're left with now whole numbers you can just come and you know cancel out you know with how you understand and you'll be left with your answer and as you can see guys we've not used any calculator this question is very simple yeah i think it was three marks so you can actually maximize on this question too yeah remember in mathematics every mark counts every step counts so you have to be careful and keep yeah so watch out for question number two thank you so um on to question number two you are asked to express um 1728 and 2025 in terms of their prime factors hence evaluate and you've been given um you find the cube root of seven one thousand seven hundred and twenty eight divided by the square root of two thousand and twenty five so when you're doing this question you can just come here and write the solution remember you have to read the question keenly you will ask first to express 1728 and 2025 in terms of their prime factors so that is what we do first so expressing um 1728 um in terms of prime factors so maybe a simple um, formula that you can actually use the tree factor so you can just come here remember you should have your calculator um let me get my <laughs> using the tree factor 1728 so we're looking for these factors first let's start with two you can actually take a calculator 1728 divided by two that is 864 then by two gives you 432 by two gives you 216 by two 108 by two so for 54 by 2 gives you 27 remember you actually do it until um, where it's, it's not a factor of 2 so by 2 27 and this goes by 3 gives you 9 then by 3 gives you 3 so this is what you have so now for 17 28 it's going to be 2 you take this 2 multiply by 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 2 then you multiply by 3 by 3 and lastly by 3 remember I'm just doing this so that I can make sure I don't leave any I don't confuse remember you have to be careful so this can be written as 2 to power 1 2 3 Four, five, six. So this can be written as 2 to power 6 multiplied by 3 to power 1, 2, 3. 3 to power 3. So this is for 17, 28. This is our other prime. We've written it in form of its prime factors. Let's now go to 20, 25. Again, what you need to do here, remember, just do it with your calculator so that you can't confuse. So 20, 25. It's a, you will use 5 so you can say by 5 for 5 by 5 again gives you 81 and remember for we can't use 5 again because 81 is not divisible by 5 so we can actually use 20, we can actually use 3 so this becomes by 3 27 by 3 9 by three three remember what I've done here guys um just use your calculator if you are not sure and you don't want to confuse like I said it goes to, it goes to five it goes um by five this divide by five gives you four, four five by five eighty one and this is just the same as five times eighty one will give you four five five times four five gives you two thousand and twenty five and such 
So for 81, it's a divisible by 3, giving you 27, go by 3, 9, 3, 3. So this again, we can come and write 20, 25 is equals to 5 times 5 times 3 times 3 again times 3 and lastly times 3. And this is the same as 5 squared because of 1, 2 times 3 raised to power 1, 2, 3, 4. I hope you guys have understood. So that was step one. We were actually asked to express them in terms of their prime factors. So once you have the prime factors, then you just now run this in order to create space. So here we have 17, 28 is equals to 2 raised to 6 times 3 cubed. And for 20, 25, is equals to 5 squared times 3 raised to 3. So we have done step 1. So let's look at part 2. We've been asked, hence evaluate this. We've been given a um, cube root of 17, 28 over square root of 20, 25. So what you need to do next, um, you can now... Um, what do we call it? Replace 17, 28 with its prime factors and 20, 25 with its prime factors. So you just come here. Cube root of 2 raised to 6 times 3 raised to 3 over square root of 5 squared times 3, 4. So what you need to do here, now you have this. While removing the cube root, you actually look at 3 goes to 6 to the power how many times? That is 2 times. So it becomes 2 squared, 3 goes to 3, 1, so it cancel out, and you're left with 3 raised to 1. Denominator, this is a square root, so we divide by 2. So 2 goes to 2 once, so you're left with 5 raised to 1, times 4, remember we are dealing with the powers. 4 goes to 2 how many times? 2 times, so it becomes 3 squared. Just remember the trick here, you're going to use the powers to simplify and remove this root. So 3 goes to 6, 2 times, so it becomes 2 squared. And 3 goes to 3, once, becomes 3 raised to 1. 2 goes to 2, once, and 4 goes to 2, twice. So once you're left with that, now you can finish up. Um, 2 squared is 4 times 3 over 5 times 3 squared is 9. So this becomes 12 over 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 9 is 45. And when you cancel that, you are left with 4 over 15. So this becomes your answer. So this is how you are expected to do this question. So one, uh, just um, express in terms of your prime factors, and I've shown you the tree method, which is actually easier, and you can actually monitor. And then once we got the factors, we changed them. Instead of using the 17 to 8, we use the prime factors on the denominator and on the numerator and denominator. And then we simplified and removed the roots. And this is the answer. So basically, this is how you are expected to do this question. So now let's go to question number three.